All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we went to Jersey Mike's. We're going into the Florence Foodies Tumbler Cup today. Good old sweet tea. I don't actually drink a lot of soda and I hope that's not a disappointment to y'all. I'll drink some here and there, but I can go a whole year without even drinking a soda at all. But for the sake of this venture here and there, I may drink a little bit more. Not today though. Now, today what I am gonna do is I'm gonna show you the correct way to eat what I'm gonna say is the best Jersey Mike sub. They got a couple of things up there that I like. As y'all know, we don't do a whole lot of franchises on this channel. And we haven't talked about any franchises specifically, I think. Have we done a video featuring a franchise yet? In any way? I don't think so. Oh, we did. We had Bojangles. We did have the Bojangles video. But that was because of the particular Bojangles news for our downtown. But I digress. Vicky's salt and vinegar chips. But yeah, as far as a franchise goes for Florence, um, I'm going to say that Jersey Mike's is the best thing we got going for a sub sandwich. Okay, now, first of all, let me tell you what we got here. My go-to sandwich is the number 13, which is the Italian. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it Mike's way, which is with lettuce, tomato, onions, salt and pepper, the Italian spices, and um, the oil and vinegar. Now, the young lady that was doing this today, I don't know if she was new to the Mike's family or what the case was, but she was very apprehensive about dispersing that oil and vinegar. You can see she was very reserved. And that was kind of disappointing because that's a key component to the entire sandwich. I let it ride. I didn't want to be the, yo, give me a little bit more guy today. But uh, that was the case. Now, in order to do this, what I'm going to show you all the secret is, which will make up for some of that correctly, I got to prepare this a little bit. And also, I should have told her to leave me a little bit of room in this mayo cup, but I'm going to actually take some of this out. I'm going to show you why. Not bad. Also not great. All right, now, <laughs> if you don't know, you're not familiar with Jersey Mike's, A, especially here in Florence, this is the premier sandwich chain. Uh, I don't know that anybody would have a list in Florence where their number one sub shop wasn't Jersey Mike's. We'll talk about that in a minute. But for those of you that may not know, this is the pepper relish. It's so good. It's so sought after and demanded that you can actually buy these jars of it separately. And so I got a fresh one here today. Oh yeah. So what you do, take the pepper relish and you're going to combine it with this mayo. You get even a good shake. Yeah. That should be all right. You're gonna make a dipping sauce out of that, okay? That's what you're gonna do with it. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say, I always get this on that rosemary parm bread. So you probably saw that in the image, but um, get the rosemary parm, don't get the white bread. It's actually got that cheese. See that? Here you go, you see that? That's baked on cheese right there off the side of that bread. You don't, hmm. I'm telling you, you don't, you don't want to miss that. All right, now, you got your dipping sauce. When it comes to a sub sandwich in Florence, you can't get a better one than this. I'm telling you, this is, this is the way to do it. Now, another thing, I just want to make sure I'm covering all the bases here. If you go to Jersey Mike's, and you don't get the pepper relish, you're making a, a grave mistake, grave mistake. But this is a little hack that uh, I learned. And I'm telling you, it's really just a good idea. So when you talk about sub shops in Florence, we've got like Subway, of course. And then we've got Jersey Mike's, of course. We got Firehouse. We've got Palmetto Subs. And we've had some other places that aren't here anymore over the years. And then we got Jimmy John's. I know people have different allegiances, but I'm telling you, like, for example, the Palmetto Subs. Palmetto Subs is not bad. I'm not knocking Palmetto Subs. But if I'm correct on this, they're not even baking their own bread in-house. The Palmetto Subs, they have that bread brought in. And so off the rip, that's, that's a problem. That's a problem. I don't cut Subway any slack. So unless something's changed, I mean, I can't remember the last time I've been to a Subway, man. Probably, it's definitely been years since the last time I've been to a Subway. And even then, I probably just got a cookie. 
So unless something's changed, Subway can't compete. You know what's weird too? If I remember correctly, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure we had a Jersey Mike's on um, West Palmetto coming right up to five points. She's, I don't know, like 15 years ago, maybe something like that. And it closed down. It didn't, it didn't make it. But then they opened the one about three years ago or so out there on Lucas Street right by I-95. Came right behind that with the location where I got this sandwich right over by um, Academy Sports, Panera Bread, everything right off David H. McLeod Boulevard. And now there's a third Jersey Mike's opening on Pampico Highway. If it hasn't already opened, it should be close. Because the last time I was over on that side, it looked like they were, they were pretty close to it. And that was just like uh, maybe about a week ago when I was looking at that. But what I will say to y'all is there's a reason for it. We've got two firehouse. They're not doing too bad. They have a very loyal customer base. I'm not opposed to firehouse. I'd rather go to Jersey Mike's, but I do think that firehouse would be my number two. And again, this is for Florence. I'm talking about for our area. All right. We only have, we only have what we have. I've been talking at length about the need for us to get a New Jersey style, New York style, Northeast style deli, a mom and pops somewhere around here. And I'm, I'm hoping that that's going to happen sooner than later. But for now, we got what we got. And Jersey Mike's is the cream of the crop. My mother-in-law went to Jersey Mike's like like a month ago. I got this same sandwich. I didn't get the stuff on the side. I didn't think about it. I didn't realize she was buying the giant one. She came back with a giant and I almost ate the whole dang thing. I did not though. I did give one of the sections because they cut it into fours. My son ate one of the sections. But I did eat three of the four. No joke. So I would say like if I were to, and we may we may talk more in depth about this one day, but if I were to rate chain restaurants in Florence, this is just kind of off the cuff, but I would definitely tell you that Five Guys and Jersey Mike's would be two chains that would definitely get my endorsement. And actually, believe it or not, our local uh, Texas Roadhouse usually doesn't disappoint, to my surprise, because I have very low expectations for those dine-in chain restaurants like that. Another place that I would, I would endorse would be Chipotle as a chain. The problem is restaurants are very location-biased. And I hate to say this, I, I've debated if and when I would say this on the channel, but it has to be said, our local Chipotle can be very hit or miss, very hit or miss. And again, I say that with all due respect. I worked in the restaurant industry for 10 years, all right? I know that things happen. It's not like you can be on your A game at all times in any, any position in the restaurant, front of the house, back of the house, host, server, line cook, grill man, dishwasher, you name it. Because sometimes the volume load or maybe other circumstances dictates your ability to perform at your peak level. I get that. So I'm not saying anything about anybody. I am simply saying that when we, my wife and I first got married, she loved Chipotle. I like Chipotle. It's one of my short list of franchises. But when I say she loved Chipotle, she loved it. That was actually the first place we met and um, had a, a date, you could say. And um, some people are like, man, you took a date to Chipotle. Well, it wasn't really a date date at first, right? Just chill. But the bottom line is she loved Chipotle so much. We were eating there like literally like every day. And so I just told her, I was like, look, I got to have a break. And so we were big fans and that was fine. In that time period, it was, that was, there was no problems really. I just got tired of eating there daily. The thing is, uh, after that, you know, I took a break. I assume she did. Maybe she was getting to goes at lunchtime that I didn't know about, but we collectively took a break. And when we started to go back around, just had a string of bad experiences. And they kind of stringed together back to back to back. Could have just been unfortunate timing and circumstances. I will say the last couple of times we've been, things have been pretty decent. So I'm starting to make peace with whatever was going on with that. And therefore, with all that being said, Chipotle would definitely be on my short list of franchises that would get my endorsement. But yeah, I just wanted to bring y'all along on this. I knew that we were going to do a Jersey Mike's video at some point. And I said, you know what? Let's go shed some light on that for the group. So, and I'm going to be honest, this was perfect. <laughs> so again, what I'm recommending to you, what I get, this is a regular number 13. It's the Italian on Rosemary Parm, Mike's Way, which usually Mike would put a little bit more oil and vinegar on there. But it's Mike's way. Then I get mayo and pepper relish. That's not part of Mike's way. So you also add that. But then I get an extra cup of mayo on the side. And I keep a jar of this. And you add here. Put it up there.
there. Bang. You add that pepper relish to the mayo and make a dipping sauce right there. I'm telling you, I don't think you're going to be disappointed with that. Okay, so that was it. Short, sweet, straight to the point. That was my lunch today, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and a share. That helps us out a lot, and we really do appreciate it. Let me know what y'all think. What's your favorite sandwich shop in Florence, if you're local or just in general? Is there a franchise that I need to check out when I'm in your city or town if you're not in our area? But for right now, for us here in Florence, I'm going to tell you guys this is it. You need to get over to Jersey Mike's if you have never been and you're in Florence or anywhere for that matter, I'm giving you the recommendation to go over and check them out. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing y'all around. In the meantime, y'all take care and we will see you on the next video. Yeah. Mike's way, so all the seasonings, oil, vinegar, mayo, and pepper relish. Yeah. Oh, and then you know what? Could I get a cup of mayo on the side too?